Good morning. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, um, woke up a little later than I had wanted to today, and I see I have some emails I have to um, um, uh, correspond with. My wife went out, you know, to get her hair cut. She won't let me touch her hair. Okay, fine. Guess what? You know, a lot of the Church of the Living God have been warning and telling you that um, here in America, lockdowns are coming. The second wave that um, Sosa, the Black Pope, warned us about is quickly coming. And isn't it interesting that uh, here in America, it's coinciding with the selections? Yes, yes. And I have personally always believed that there will be a trigger event to truly start off the second wave here in America. There have been many people who have been warning you about this. You fools. What is a fool? According to the scriptures, go ahead and turn your... Turn in your authorized version of the scriptures, the King James scriptures, the true and real scriptures, to Psalm 53. The fool is defined for us uh, primarily in three psalms, Psalm 14 and Psalm 53. Okay? Get the scriptures and turn there, please. Psalm 53. We're going to read this whole thing. I, can you handle that? Psalm 53. The fool hath said in his heart, there is no God. Corrupt are they, and have done abominable iniquity. There is none that doeth good. God looked down from heaven upon the children of men to see if there were any that did understand that did seek God. <laughs> but there again, what God are you seeking? The God, our Lord Jesus Christ, our Father, that is presented to you within the authorized version of the scriptures? Or are you searching for the little g, God of this world, who is Satan, and looking for his Christ, the son of perdition? You know, that one who doesn't judge you, who has no standards, who preaches to you, to you a love uh, without judgment, without truth? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, which God are you seeking? Continuing. Every one of them has gone back. They are all they are altogether become filthy. There is none that doeth good, no not one. Have the workers of iniquity no knowledge, who eat up my people as they eat bread? <laughs> they have not called upon God. There were they in great fear. Where no fear was. <laughs> For God hath scattered the bones of him that encampeth against thee. Thou hast put them to shame, because God hath despised them. Oh, that the salvation of Israel were come out of Zion. When God bringeth back the captivity of his people, Jacob shall rejoice, and Israel shall be glad. Look at verse um, 5. There were they in great fear where no fear was. For God hath scattered the bones of him that encampeth against thee. Thou hast put them to shame because God hath despised them. Now, the only ones that have been keeping this fictitious pandemic alive has been the Jesuit-controlled news media. And as many brethren have said, um, you want a good guarantee of never getting the Corona gonna get you virus, the poison crown? Don't watch television. Don't watch the news. It's controlled opposition by the Jesuits. Okay? 
They're the only ones who've been keeping this fictitious pandemic alive. Okay? You get that? Yeah? Okay. I found out that today, here is the newspaper for my locality today. And it says, this is the Northwest Herald, Inside Out, McHenry County Bars, Restaurants to Experience Mitigation Restrictions Starting Saturday. <laughs> uh, and I will be honest with you, um, <laughs> I have not read the whole article. Don't need to. It's coming. Brethren, Church of the Living God, sisters, prepare yourself. And you, the fool, going to be locked in your little houses, your apartments. And then what's going to happen? The devil, through the media, is going to distract you. I forget what the, the actual statistics of it were. Um, if any of you, the Church of the Living God, who know, please go ahead and put it in the comment section. Uh, pornography, viewing of pornography online, like, skyrocketed. Uh, alcohol and drug use skyrocketed when everything was in lockdown in the first wave. When the Jesuits were testing the waters to see how stupid people seem to be over this. And I'm using charity when I say that to you. But now, the second wave is coming. Very quickly. <laughs> Very quickly. And the Church of the Living God has been aware of this. And those of us of the Church of the Living God have been warning you, the fool. And you, coadjutors. Oh, this is your hour in the power of darkness. Everybody's going to be locked in. And brethren, you watch. Those that have seemingly disappeared are going to return again. Very quickly. The agitators here on YouTube are going to be stirred to a fever pitch. Because people are going to be forced into their homes once again. And plus with the selection coming and the agitation of Black Lives Matter, Antifa, and uh, Fox News, and all, whatever it is, okay, all the propaganda, people are angry. People are afraid. Because there is no fear of God before their eyes. They're looking for a Jesus who loves them unconditionally. What is that? Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated? No. It's coming. And here in my locality, it's coming very soon. And my wife and I, um, like I said, she's not here at the moment. My wife and I were talking, and we both looked at each other. It's like, we need to get out there. We need to get out there. And, um... A uh, beloved brother of mine um, who um, uh, texted me, I uh, beg your pardon, beloved. Um, like I said, I got up kind of late today. But anyway, um, we need to get out there and put out as many tracks as we can. And a beloved brother sent me a box of uh, Melanson gospel tracks. And uh, we're already into that one. <laughs> um, please pray for us that um, the Lord open doors and protect us because in our locality right now, people are going to be going crazy, man. They're going to be nuts. They're going to be storming the places, toilet paper, water, all this stuff. And praise our Lord Jesus Christ, God, our Father, that um, we, we are prepared. We are prepared. As prepared as we can be living in a city uh, and in a apartment complex. But uh, praise the Lord. And thank you to every single one of you who have um, had uh, mercy and charity on us. Bless your heart and soul. And may our Lord Jesus Christ, God our Father, recompense into your bosom your kindness.
ab sofort. But it's coming. Are you prepared? And like I told you, brethren, once people are put into their homes, we who are doing things online need to get more active. And those of you who hesitate, those of you who hesitate, brethren, now's the time. Because, turn to Acts chapter 20, <clears throat> verses, oh, verses 25, on to verse 32, in Acts chapter 20, verses 25 on to verse 32. And now, behold, I know that ye all, among whom I have gone preaching the kingdom of God, spiritual kingdom, shall see my face no more. Wherefore I take you to record this day, that I am pure from the blood of all men. For I have not shunned to declare unto you all the counsel of God. Take heed, therefore, unto yourselves and to all the flock, over the which the Holy Ghost, and the Lord is that spirit, in which the Holy Ghost, over the which the Holy Ghost hath made you overseers, to feed the church of God, which he hath purchased with his own blood. For I know this, that after my departing shall grievous wolves enter in among you, not sparing the flock. Also of your own selves shall men arise, speaking perverse things, to draw away disciples after them. Therefore watch and remember, that by the space of three years, I cease not to warn everyone night and day with tears. And now, brethren, I commend you to God and to the word of his grace, which is able to build you up and to give you an inheritance among all them which are sanctified. Church of the Living God, the um, agitators, the coagitors, the heretics, very soon are going to, the, the leashes are going to be pretty much left, let off, so to speak. We're going to see a very big increase in this. Attacks. It's going to increase rapidly, very soon. Are you prepared? Are you prepared? Prepare yourself. And you fools. <laughs> Any coincidence that um, this is the second wave is about to hit here in America? You know? And taxes are starting to increase? Oh boy. I know in other states in the Union, such as a uh, beloved brother in uh, North Dakota, I always get that confused, brother. Big part. Um, they've already done a type of lockdown, and in public, they're forcing it to work. <laughs> if you have the opportunity today to do something for the Lord, get off your hind end and go do it. Other than this, brethren, be prepared. And you fools. Instead of giving in to your lust, why don't you look into the authorized version of the scriptures, the King James scriptures, the true and real scriptures? Why don't you consider some things about what's going on and what is coming? And may the Lord be merciful to you. Anyway, that's that's it. I'm gonna that's it for this little video. Just kind of an update. Um, we are praying for so many of you. Pray for us, please, as many of you do, as we pray for you. Pray for one another, brethren, sisters. 
those who are being called crazy by their family because they've been warning about what's going on and look, it's coming. Anyway, that's it. I love you. And we will see you in the next video.